Selecting a courseware provider is really just the first step on the long road toward impacting student outcomes. A successful long-term partnership is critical. We asked National Lewis University and their courseware vendor Acrobatic to give advice to their future counterparts. So, you know, part of the challenge here is that it is, it is truly a team effort. Uh, on, on, and I, I'm just talking about on the institutional side, there's a team. Um, and uh, uh, those team you know, players have very different roles from one another, yet they have to work well together. So the first thing that has to happen, for example, is you know, both, both parties, uh, Acrobatic, uh, the, the partner, need to really understand um, what the problem is that we're trying to solve. So there are some big picture um, understandings that everybody on both sides has to have. What, what problem are we solving here? Um, how uh, is the technology playing a role? And how is the fuller uh, um, instructional model that they're using at the institution leveraging the technology? But what else is happening um, so that everybody understands that? And then, and then, what is everybody's individual role in that? If I'm an instructional designer versus a teaching faculty versus a lead faculty versus an administrator, we all have different roles in the success of this, but we're all part of this same team. Uh, so actually, I'm making sure everybody understands what all the roles are on both sides um, and who's doing what. Uh, is critical because the next step is you got to train them, um, and each of those roles obviously has to have different training and different support. One of the best things that vendors can do is really have a solid roadmap for the partners that they're going to be working with, because a lot of universities may be interested in adaptive courseware, and they may not even have anyone on staff, whether it's in technology or administration or in faculty or in any department who really have knowledge with adaptive courseware. And so the more, the more providers can serve as the educator, uh, the better the process will go, the smoother the integrations will be. And that's really important. And I think no matter what, find a way to, in every package that you offer to institutions, have a solid training program, really have a lot of professional development around building courses, using the courseware, taking the, taking the data from the courseware, and using it at the institution. Having that professional development is key, and it's not just for onboarding. It's not just in the beginning when a professor or um, a teacher is going to be using the product that professional development should continue through a certain period of time whether it's the entire semester maybe it's an entire academic year because everybody needs to continue to grow their knowledge as they move through a product and having that professional development offered is it's very key you know I, I do say to people in advance before we engage deeply that um, I, I think it's um, it is essential today that you have an institutional strategy and that this problem we're trying to solve is, is, is part of that institutional strategy and that therefore you're going to be able to provide the right level of, of support for whoever uh, needs to engage on your side, um, primarily, ultimately, faculty. Um, because if it's just, a, um, if it's just a, a problem, a small problem that, that's been raised and, and they want to try something, see if they can fix it. And there's not a real institutional commitment to it. Um, I, I think it's not going to sustain itself in the face of all the difficulty and challenges that, that these kinds of projects face. But if there's a, um, a real commitment <laughs> and a will to, uh, uh, to try to sort of see it through and provide the, the right level of support, it has a chance to work. And then the last thing I really encourage uh, institutions to think about at a high level is um, time. Uh, that, that these kinds of things aren't going to get solved uh, in a semester or even two semesters. Um, um, and, and I, but I also understand you don't have 10 semesters to keep in, in incrementally improving because um, uh, these things can't sustain themselves without significant success through a period of time that long. So what I really encourage is to think about three or four semesters um, of effort and incremental improvement before you draw any conclusions. Because that's really, in some ways, the greatest advantage of these kinds of platforms is data. And data allows us to uh, see what's happened and to make improvements and then try again. And if we get it right, the next result ought to be better. And you need to have a few cycles of that 
Um, and you need to have a few cycles where everybody in every role gets more comfortable and gets better at, at what they do in that role before I think these things really start to click. Mm -hmm.